Hi guys, welcome to another unboxing video. Today, I think we're going to be doing something different from the usual. Uh, the package is kind of unmarked though, so I'll have to... <laughs> I'm slightly guessing, but I think I've got a pretty good idea. Anyway, I'm going to be tasting a uh, kvass, which is a Eastern European light rye beer or something. Uh, and the primary reason I got it is because I play fuck tons of Tarkov and I consume it in vast quantities in that game. So when I got the opportunity to try it for real, I thought I'd take it. Mm. Cheers, guys. Wow, that tastes almost like wheaty Coca-Cola. Hmm. Yeah, very um, interesting flavor. It's not but it does taste faintly of rye. Anyway, let's get to the unbagging, uh, I guess, at hand. So, oh man, this is just falling apart. <laughs> I barely have to use a knife. I, yeah, I can I could just do it with my bare hands here. Mm -mm. Don't worry, I don't cut myself very easily. I'm used to unboxing things at work, so I've learned to be careful. So far, I've yet to cut myself, I think, on uh, one of these unboxing videos. So. Okay. Interesting. He's got corner stabilizers. But I was right. They are ore keys, full metal jacket. I mean, full metal keycaps. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's a bit of a story behind this. I you know, just more stabilizers. Get these in and go away. Now, uh, I originally asked for their periodic table keycap sets. Now, some of you may know I'm a, a chemist myself, so periodic table keycaps, which were made out of actual metals that they were supposed to uh, well, represent, let's say. Um, I asked for that, but I think they didn't have them in stock or something. So instead they said, we, we can send you a full metal keycap uh, set instead. Now, I'll be honest, I still really want to do the periodic ones. But this seemed like a nice thing to do in the meantime. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I've got some... <laughs> made with recycled metal. Okay. Um, one, metal keycaps are slightly heavy. Please handle with both hands and place them gently. Uh, what? As if I'm not... <laughs> as if I'm not capable physically of what lifting up a metal keycap avoid sharp objects touching the metal keycaps keep sharp objects away from the keycaps uh, blah blah insert vertically gently wipe with a soft cloth for cleaning and maintenance it is recommended to clean your fingers before use to avoid sweat and oil stains oh, Jesus okay um well let's um Let's give give it a look. I was at a keyboard meetup today, as it happens, and uh, I was talking to someone about uh, ore keys and their uh, metal key caps, and it was interesting to hear their experiences with the company. There you go. Okay, so I think off the top of my head, this is the dark. He, I don't know what it was called. Was it called titanium or something? It's a slightly black look. Here you go. They are definitely shiny keycaps, as you can see, but they've got a distinctly dark appearance to them. Which I'll hold one up. This is going to be difficult. Come on, you. So, as you can see, they're really quite dark. Right, it's not quite black, it's more of a dark grey, and it's metallic, but but matte. Matte, dark grey, metallic. And the the stems um, are entirely... Yeah, 
let's see. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, they're not, you know, just circular throughout. And then the middle is cut out. They just sliced through the stems entirely. So it's it's basically four prongs that you can stick onto a key, a uh, key switch. Uh, oh yeah, and it seems like it's two layers of this. Of course, there you go. Got lots of different shifts, modifiers, whatnot. I must admit, I like the font. I'm not entirely sure what this font is, but it looks like, it looks like Helvetica, which is excellent. As we all know, Helvetica is the best font, at least for keycaps. I also tend to type my emails in Helvetica, by the way. Man, this space bar must be, oh yeah. See, this is probably extremely forbidden by them, but <laughs> nice. It's got some stabilizing fins on the inside, or something like that. And looking at the inside, it doesn't look like it's a hundred percent straight, but it also doesn't look warped from the outside or scuffed. I'd heard sometimes these can be scuffed or, you know, that they don't look all that great on some sides, but drawing out a few random ones, they, they seem fine. Yeah, they, they look like, well, maybe slight imperfections like that, but overall, just on a quick glance, that's not so bad. They do feel nice and weighty, I must say. Even just a, a single keycap has a, a nice, appreciable weight to it. I'm not entirely sure what metal this is. If I had to guess, I'd say it's polished Zamak or something. But I can't be entirely sure. I'd have to look that up, just like the name of this set, because I'm not 100% not sure now. Um, I th I'll I'll see if I can find out what set this is and put it in the product description. Uh, sorry, in the video description below. I'll put the pro pro put a product link there. Let's see how it um, works on a keyboard. This is a keyboard I was uh, testing recently. I'm sure you recognize it. This is also uh, what the review is going to be about. That's coming out next week. Let's do the first four keycaps or something. If you don't know what this is, I also made an unboxing about this. Ooh. <laughs> hmm, maybe, <laughs> can I fit this keycap set on, on this keyboard? It's got a slightly different, well, weird, really, layout. Okay, it's, so the instructions specifically say that you're supposed to really push down vertically only. Now, admittedly, the keycaps on the, the Keychron are very rounded, very rounded, much more than normal. They're still cylindrical, not spherical, but they are very rounded but I think <laughs> so maybe the contrast is bigger than it normally would be but you can see the keycaps look very sharp here see they're much more a cubicle than they normally are so let's see is there a difference in feel Well, it's definitely a difference in sound okay so what the the review video of this is of this is gonna look like it's probably going to be something very similar to the uh, Seraki ceramic keycaps which was a sort of mini review with maybe any positives or negatives that I come across um, in a very short format and then an extended sound uh, demonstration you know comparing it to other keycaps and whatnot and what kind of influence it has on the sounds of different types of switches particularly clicky ones um, also linear ones but you know I, I definitely want to try out clicky ones um, 
so that's the the format of the video but man this is <laughs> this is definitely uh, an appreciable sound difference i can already uh, spoil that for you nice i like it it should be very interesting i might try to see if this set fits this keyboard i think it would make a very interesting look anyway i think i've been talking for long enough now already so that just leaves me to say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the review you'll see this at some point down the line i really really have no idea uh, really not sure when i'm going to review this but we'll see and until that time see you later guys